मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन सो इन दिस केस माय रूल अकॉर्डिंग टू माय रूल्स दिस इज नॉट अ सेट रूल गिवन बाय एनसीईआरटी माय फर्स्ट रूल इज इफ देयर इज एनी ब्रैकेट सॉल्व इट देयर इज नो ब्रैकेट आई कांट सॉल्व इट नाउ इफ देयर इफ द क्वेश्चन इज इन सम अदर रेशियो कन्वर्ट इनटू साइन cos इट इज ऑलरेडी इन साइन cos कैन यू सी दैट यस and uh, i don't think so any identity is also possible okay so basically i'm stuck but one thing is there it is in fraction if something is in fraction and not you divisible can, what you what was the rule the, you can take it to the other side and multiply it no we are not going to do that this is oh. separate question this is separate question oh two we have to prove it i have to solve this part i have to solve this part and make them equal okay this, these are these are identities that's why this exercise name is identities these are not questions try to understand okay these are proving questions there is a difference between question and identities anyway so meaning both are correct so we have to prove it these are formulas basically Okay. In eleventh grade, if you take math, yeah. these are the formulas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Anyway, we'll discuss about that thing in some other class. I'll show you. But right now, if there is nothing else possible, and if it is in fraction, do you remember what we need to do? We need to rationalize. Oh, rationalize. Remember, I told you this is the yes. last possibility. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Now, no. how to do the rationalization? Multiple. In two terms, rationalization was possible. If you remember, yeah. a plus b upon a minus b. If this is the question, then I would do a plus b upon a plus b. A plus b. This was a minus thing. Mm -hmm. I'll do the plus. Remember rationalization? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. But there are three terms. So what one should do? Take the take them in bracket. Oh. Consider them as two terms only. One term, two term. One term, two term. Oh. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Sir. So I'll write rationalizing the left hand side. Okay. so we'll do the rationalization cos a minus sin a sin plus 1 cos a plus sin a minus 1 minus 1 multiply mm -hmm. cos a plus a sin a plus sin Plus, plus one. one. Minus. Yeah. This is minus. It will become plus. Okay. Okay. Oh. Cos a plus sine a plus one. Is this thing clear? Yes. Sir. Now we'll do the multiplication. It's a long multiplication. Yeah. It's a patience test. Now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply this cos with this whole thing. Okay. Okay. Cos into cos. Cos c square. Cos square a, not a square. Oh, cos cos cos. Somebody write like this. Mm -hmm. It is incorrect. Oh, okay. Correct way cos. of writing is this. Okay. Or. Correct way of writing is this. Okay. Oh, okay. These are the two correct ways of writing. First way is wrong. Okay. 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 Moving ahead. Cos into sine. So plus cos a oh. multiplied by sine a. Sine. Now cos into one. Plus, plus, plus. Okay. Now I will mm. be taking 
minus sine into multiplication. So minus sine sine into cos. Mm. Okay, minus yeah. minus sine square a. Sine square a. Moving ahead, uh, minus sine. Yeah. That's... Okay. Now uh -huh. moving ahead, I'll do plus one multiplication. One into anything oh. is something, so everything will come as it is. Plus cos a. Uh, give me a second. I hope numerator is clear now. Yes, sir. Denominator in case of rationalization is always a square minus b square, if you remember. So oh, over yeah. here, cos a plus sin a whole square minus one square. Now let us cancel some of the things from the Oh, this one. Later on, we will see. We will look at the identities. Oh, now, so. cos square a, do we have plus sine square a? No. No. We have no. minus. Sorry, we cannot hmm. use this identity. Plus cos a sine a minus we can cos cancel a sine a. Cancel. Hmm. So, we will cancel this thing. So, yes. Now, Cos A, cos A is both positive. Minus yeah. sine A, minus cos A. Can you see that? Minus sine A. Minus sine A plus sine A. Oh, okay. So we'll oh, also get cancelled. Yes. So let me just write whatever it is remaining, first of all. Uh, okay. So cos square A minus sine square a. I'm writing square first. Oh, okay. Plus cos. Uh, what else is remaining? Cos a and... Can I say two cos a? Yeah, two cos a. Cos a, cos a, two cos a. Hmm. Anything else remaining? Plus one. Yeah. No, plus one. I was about to miss that. Plus one. And in the denominator, we the have identity. The identity. We can apply the identity. So, cos square a plus sine square a plus two cos a sine a minus one. So, uh, how do you get? How do you get the uh, sine square a plus cos square a? Because identity is sine square a plus cos square a is 1. Is, oh, oh, okay. Well, fine. So 1 can be written as okay, sine okay. square a plus cos square a. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sine square a, sine square a cancel. Okay. So what is remaining to cos square a plus 2 cos square a? Yes or no? Okay, yeah, yeah. So two cos a sin a. Two, you and can take two common. In the numerator, I will take two common, two and cos common. Oh, okay. Cos a plus one. Two and cos a cancel. Okay, so this two will cancel. So what is remaining? Cos a plus one upon sine. So I'll give it give the sign to both. Cos a upon sine plus one upon sine. So cos upon sine is what? 
confused a little bit but can you see it is like a maze when when you play a maze game if there is a block do you end your game over there or you go back and try to start from the again mm. are you getting my point so these questions are like maze if one way is not working another way will work so I could have done this question in three, four steps by using some special identities. Okay. But I always try to do the question from a student perspective. 